So this may be one of the little bit longer videos that I normally make. My videos are normally like one or two minutes long, but this one definitely needs some explaining to do on my part. Because, you know, when I watched this movie the first time, yes, I knew. I knew the first time I watched the movie, it was a bad movie. But I actually, in a way, still, in a way, enjoyed this movie. Uh, not because it's good. There's, there's some aspects of it that I do like. I do like the thought of there being a live-action Dragon Ball movie. But it just this movie went about it the wrong way so many times. And first of all, there's Goku, right? So, I know Goku is an alien, but in my perspective, Goku should have been cast as an Asian, not as a American white guy. Now, I'm just not trying to be racist, that's just, that's just the truth. He should have been cast as an Asian guy, because to me, Goku is Asian. On top of that, he should have been younger, because this takes place in the first series of Dragon Ball, in the first few episodes. In those episodes, Goku's around 8 or 9, and... If they really wanted to go that route, they should have just made Goku younger. Now, for the other actors, I actually did not have a problem. Um, I think Masaroshi could have been casted as a more older guy. But everyone else, I really didn't have a problem. It's not, not that the acting was great or anything. I just, I I did like seeing Piccolo as a, I forgot his name, something Masters, right? He's in the Buffy shows and a couple other shows, also in a Small Bill. You know, I actually do like him as a TV actor, so this is like one of the first movies I've actually seen him in. But, he didn't do a bad job as Piccolo. But what I find weird is that how they try to modernize Dragon Ball. So what do I mean by that? It's just, in the book, the manga, and the show Dragon Ball, it's hinted that they live in an alternate future. But yet, in this one, they live in like modern day, like today. With, and it just, the book, uh, the manga, and the TV show, they're drawn so specifically that they do live on a completely different world. And they should have played with that a little more. Instead, they just filmed like, oh, this is L.A., but we're going to pretend it's somewhere else in the world. Clearly, they live somewhere in Asia, and clearly the map of Dragon Ball is not like how our real world map is. And so I did have a problem with that just a little bit. And... And then there's a whole Ozaro side story. So Ozaro, if you don't know, it's the like an alternate personality to the Saiyans. It's like what the Saiyans truly are when they come in contact with the sun. But this is not really well explained in the movie. This is like it's mentioned at the beginning and then for some reason it's revealed that Goku is Ozaru. But the whole thing it happens so quick and so fast that it almost makes no sense. Now, in the manga and the anime, Goku is always wearing his gi, right? But here, it seems Goku is just wearing modern-day clothes. Like I said, they try to base it on, like, modern-day, right? Modern-day how people live. So, they clearly don't really understand Goku. And also, Goku doesn't really seem like the type of guy who, like, he wants to get stronger just because he likes to fight. No, this is... This Goku's personality is way different than the Goku we get in the manga and the anime. So, it's, I don't have, I forgot the I mean, my, my main actor's name. Sorry if I repeated. But, I, I don't have a problem with him as an actor. I just have a problem with his portrayal as Goku. Because to me, that wasn't Goku. His personality was just all wrong. Goku likes to fight. He gets excited about fighting. And in this one, he's just more interested in uh, Chi Chi, which if you don't know, Saiyan, especially Goku, he doesn't really find like sex and women that interesting. He finds fighting interesting. I'm not saying he's like, you know, gay or anything. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is like he he cares less about girls and cares more about fighting. That's why I say they got Goku's personality all wrong. So, like I said, I have no problem with the actor because I've seen him in other movies that I enjoy. But he just did not bring out Goku's personality. So, this movie basically rushes the entirety of Season 1 of Dragon Ball. And this movie, to me, could have easily been like a three-parter. There's a three-parter of young Goku trying to find the Dragon Ball as he fights in a tournament, finds Krillin, and, well, that's it. But... 
even then, the dragon in this movie wasn't all that great. And so, what Hollywood likes to do, they see something that makes a lot of money and gets a lot of views, and so they like to make a movie out of it. But in most cases, when it comes to making a movie, I'm going to say 90% of the time, when Hollywood makes a movie about a well-established character and genre based on something famous, they get it wrong, especially anime. We just do not have a good anime movie. You can say Ghost in the Shell is a decent anime movie. I'll, I'll give you that. It's decent. Probably not that great, but it's, it's decent. Or at least we're, they're getting somewhere. But I hear a lot of complaints that, at least for a while, that, oh, we don't have very many good comic book movies. Well, now we have Marvel movies, and DC is still trying to, struggling a little bit. And if it's, for some reason, it seems that video games struggle to make it on screen, but I did like the last Tomb Raider movie. But every other video game movie it just fails to make a good movie but anime is so worse it's so hard for them to make an anime movie a movie based on an anime based on a manga i don't know why it's just animes have great stories there's you know uh full metal alchemist could be a great movie and then now they're making a pokemon movie but uh i'm still a little iffy whether i I'm, I'm going to hope that that movie is going to be somewhat decent. You know, there's Cowboy Bebop, Naruto, and so many great, great animes and mangas they could make. But they struggle so much to make an anime movie. And it's baffling. It, they don't translate very well. And so the thing is, the reason why I like this movie, for, for some reason, I see that this movie had the potential to be good. They just fucked up a lot of shit. Goku's personality, Goku being too old, um, making the mistake of doing the entire first season in one movie and uh, not really, not really get delving into the world of Dragon Ball. They just filmed like L.A. and some parts of the world and didn't really go the futuristic alternate universe route that Dragon Ball has that feeling on. If you don't know what I mean, if you don't know what I mean, just look at the buildings and cars of the world of Dragon Ball. It's a completely different world, and I, I kind of wish they went that route. So I can't really say much else and just kind of complain. I wish this movie could have been better than what it was, but it's just it's just not gonna. It's just not. It's just. I, I think this movie basically killed the potential of Dragon Ball being a good movie, but I do see. The Dragon Ball series can be great live-action movies. They just need somebody who's smart enough to do that. Anyways, guys, that's just me. I gotta go for now. My bell's ringing. See you guys later.